If you have type 2 diabetes or are trying to prevent type 2 diabetes, you have to know a very important body part. It's small but super mighty and it has a big role in your blood sugar health and you absolutely need to know about it and it is beta cells. These little powerhouses in your pancreas play a crucial role in blood sugar regulation and understanding how they work can be a game changer for your health. Today in this video, we're going to dive deeper into what beta cells are and what happens to them in type 2 diabetes and most importantly how you can protect and restore them through diet and lifestyle changes. Let's get started. So what are beta cells? Beta cells are specialized cells found in the pancreas. They're actually in clusters called the islets of Langerhans. Their primary job is to produce and secrete insulin which is the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugars. When you eat food the beta cells sense the blood sugar rises and hence releases insulin to regulate your blood sugar and to allow insulin to bring the glucose into your cells so that your cells can use it for energy. So think of beta cells as your body's natural blood sugar managers. When they're working well, your blood sugar is stable. However, when they are overworked or when they get exhausted or damaged, that's when problems arise. In the early stages of type 2 diabetes, the body becomes insulin resistant, meaning that even though insulin is produced, the cells aren't responding to insulin really well. To compensate for this, your body's beta cells start working over time. It starts producing more and more insulin. That's why you have high insulin levels in your blood when you have type 2 diabetes. But over time, if your body has high blood sugar levels and it pushes your beta cells to produce more and more insulin, your beta cells can get exhausted and in later and more more advanced stages of type 2 diabetes, your beta cells can stop producing insulin. That's when some people may struggle with producing insulin in later stages of diabetes, and that's when they need to rely on exogenous insulin to help them control their blood sugars. Research have shown that people who have been diagnosed with diabetes for 9 to 10 years, 50% of them start developing insulin dependency, and that is when type 2 diabetes may not be completely put into remission because the definition of being put into remission is that you're completely free of diabetic medications but for people that may not be producing insulin may not be able to completely put their diabetes into remission because of that however there are recent research showing that you may be able to quote unquote wake up beta cells again once they are dormant we definitely need more studies showcasing that but if you want to protect your beta cells one thing that you want to do is is to make sure you have normal blood sugar levels that will give your beta cells a break and allow it to not overwork or not be over exhausted and the cool thing is research have shown that a whole minimally processed plant-based diet can actually improve beta cell functions and improve insulin sensitivity so try to incorporate more minimally processed plant-based foods into your diet eating fruits vegetables whole grains and legumes not only will you be able to protect and improve your beta cell function you can also reverse insulin resistance at its root cause with this pattern of eating and don't forget to increase more of your daily exercise into your diet other factors like managing stress having good quality of sleep will also help as well and i encourage you if you are watching this and if you have type 2 diabetes i would encourage you to focus on reversing insulin resistance now because that is the root cause of type 2 diabetes of pre-diabetes so that you can protect your beta cells at an early stage you don't want to wait till it's too late and if you want to know whether your body is still producing insulin you can ask your doctor about this test called the C peptide test. And remember, don't be in denial. If you know that you have to make changes, go start now. Me and my team have helped over a thousand people reverse type 2 diabetes and reverse insulin resistance where they're able to get off diabetic medications and be able to get their A1C back to normal levels. And some people who are still producing insulin are able to get off insulin as well, which is very, very exciting. Just take Emily, for example. She was able to get off insulin in just six weeks and she had been diagnosed with diabetes for a very long time. So hope is not lost. Make sure 
sure you take action now. And if you want to learn how you can reverse type 2 diabetes at its root cause with, with just foods that you can't get from your own local grocery store or from your farmer's market, make sure you watch my free reversing diabetes training. Link is in the description below and I'll see you guys there.